The FBI is harshly criticized in a new long-awaited report on the origins of the Trump-Russia investigation. The veteran prosecutor, Don Durham, says the agency ignored its own rules and procedures and was way too quick to take a tip about the 2016 Trump campaign and accelerate it into a full-blown investigation of whether there was communication or collusion with Russia. But Durham proposed no new charges and only modest FBI reforms in his final report. And his findings, while harshly critical of the FBI, come nowhere close to how they're now being portrayed by the former president and some of his allies. Let's get some insights now from CNN's Evan Perez and the former federal prosecutor, Elliot Williams. It is a damning report uh, from Mr. Durham, essentially saying that they got this tip and they should have taken their time and explored it. And instead, because of what he sees as a predisposition against Trump, they rushed into a full-blown investigation, which gives them a lot more power. They can do a lot more things. He said they used raw, unanalyzed, and uncorroborated intelligence. He believes some personnel involved had a predisposition against Trump, that there was no evidence of collusion. But he doesn't recommend wholesale new charges or any wholesale changes. So essentially, he says they screwed up. Right. Uh, but it's not a giant problem. Is that fair? Well, I mean, look, it's, it is a big problem uh, that the FBI made a lot of the mistakes that were documented in this report. The problem for, for Durham is that he was brought in after a very, very exhaustive uh, Inspector General report found pretty much everything he just described in 2019. Uh, he was appointed because the former president was obsessed with this idea that he was spied on, that there was a, uh, that there was a deep state cabal that was out to get him. Uh, there was all of these things that, that were promised that, uh, you know, Durham himself, you know, raised expectations of what he was going to find, and none of that panned out. Uh, in the end, what Durham found is that, you know, these are human beings. Uh, there were very, very extraordinary circumstances. You had a, 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 a candidate, right, who was being shunned by the establishment, so he brought in a lot of these third-rate people, some of whom had you know, issues and, and connections in Russia. And so that is partly what drove the FBI. They made a lot of mistakes, but it appears, according to Durham, it wasn't a political bias. It was simply confirmation bias. It was, a, it was what prosecutors and sometimes what FBI agents do. At the beginning of this, it might be hard because this is four years. It might be hard for people to remember the origins. Trump Attorney General Bill Barr asked John Durham, a veteran prosecutor, to look into this. Way back then at the beginning, this is Trump on the Hugh Hewitt Show, so he believed this was going to be huge. I think you're going to have a very interesting report coming out with Durham. I believe it's bigger and far more far-reaching and far more powerful than anyone ever thought possible. Um, now, Donald Trump, a candidate for president, again, was very quick to run out, rush out of fund, fundraising the email with the headline, I was framed. It goes on to say, uh, this is horrible. It, it was not that. He, he is exaggerating what Mr. Durham found. However, I don't want to use the fact that he's exaggerating to not get at the fact that, Mr. you're right, the IG, Mr. Horowitz, did find a lot of this, too. Uh, but these are some very important issues that Chris Ray, the FBI director, acknowledged, saying we've put a lot of reforms in place already because of these problems. Yeah, look, I will be the first to tell you, having worked at the Justice Department for six years, that if there is... Uh, bias or the use of uncorroborated information and evidence. It should be dealt with appropriately. The simple fact is there are plenty of rules at both the Justice Department and the FBI for getting out political bias and, and predisposition and things like that. And, and to the point about predisposition, it, it's an important one. Everybody has a predisposition in some way, John. The question is, does it affect the work? And if it does, how do you deal with it on the back end? Now, look, you can change the rules to make them different didn't propose any of those such things here. You can prosecute people who broke the law, but what, look, they, they tried to bring three prosecutions. Two of them ended up going to trial and ending not guilty. One of them ended up uh, pleading out for uh, only probation. There simply wasn't the widespread problems that certainly the former president and the former attorney general wanted to find here and simply did not. Yeah, and and it, I mean, look, we, here we are in 2023, and I'm, I know a lot of people are really tired of talking about 2020, <laughs> so here we go. We're talking about 2016, and this right. is what this report is. It's kind of a little bit of a, uh, like, a like, like, you know, a, 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 something like a message in a bottle, right, right from right. 2016. But it led to a special counsel investigation, yeah. led to an impeachment, which is right. why it, this is sometimes, yeah. sometimes Durham, it's worth right, revisiting Durham, history. Durham, yeah. make, yeah. Makes, right. Durham goes out of his way to to, uh, right. to, uh, to actually say that what Mueller found was very important, right. and he seems to, to believe that what Mueller did was, was legitimate. Right. Right. And so another point in this is, is show the headline of the story you wrote about this. Durham interviewed Hillary Clinton on an alleged plan to tie Trump to Russia, found no provable criminal offense. What does that mean? 
It means that, uh, in the end, the, the, the government officials who were handling this did not commit a crime. You know, they were made mistakes, and they should have looked at this and maybe had second thoughts about what they were doing with Trump, and they didn't. And that's what he found. He recommends Durham, like an, what I'm calling an ombudsman, that's what we call it in the news business, somebody, if there's a politically sensitive investigation, someone who's not involved to be there to question, just to question everything along the way. They're Any already, that'll happen? It's already, yeah, they, what they've done is that they've made sure there's more approvals needed for types of, these types of investigations. All right, we'll watch as it plays out, gentlemen. Thank you both.